Good evening, morning, or super, super early morning, Blood Bowl fans, if you're from the GMT time zone. I am here with my best bud, Full Metal, and we are about to do some commentation on my game, which we never, ever do. What? It's Hello, crazy. Hello, Blood Bowlers. And yes, you're right, it's 3 a.m., so I'm going to be super extra hype just because it's super early and it's the only way I'm going to stay awake. That's not true. This game is apparently ridiculous. And oh my god! The Texas, the Texas players were trying hard, apparently. And they, look at that guy's hair, man. They I should point out. Look at that guy's hair. His number is on his hair. That's a That's star player. Cool That's he's actually grown on me. I, I wasn't sure that I liked the star players for the dwarves, and then I found this little gem, and I've actually he's been really helpful in in, in a division where I'm severely outbashed by having a fresh roll team. Well, hold up, dude. He's got his number in his in his mohawk. Yeah, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time in the morning. Instantly, not love that guy. Well, that's why I picked him. I was like, I might as well have him. I mean, he looks cool enough, and he's not like a bazooka player. So I quite like Barrick. Barrick's kind of got a charm all of his own because he's basically, especially if you've got the stadium upgrade, he's like a cheap foul. He is. He is, and he also can long bomb it. So he's a good ball not carrier. Not cheap foul. He's a cheap bribe even because you don't. He's like a bribe where you don't care if the player gets sent off. Yeah, yeah, so... And also his foul animation, he literally walks up and point blanks them in the chest. No with way. A, um, with, a, with his bazooka. Yeah, that's his foul animation. He walks up, points his bazooka over them, and just shoots them in the face. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so try Barrick if you ever got the points, dude. He's really good fun. I always, Although... have, I always have the points. Well, yeah, this is true. I, I do like the the pickup of... Is it Grim Ironjaw, he's called? Yeah, uh, that's Grim. Grim Ironjaw. And also, you know, you finally took my advice, you took the wizard this time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Grabbed a wizard. Well, it's your advice and, uh... Um... Just, just, I always mispronounce his name. Sukari? Sukari. Um, he brought it up on his stream, and someone was telling me, they're like, yeah, everyone was like, why didn't you take a wizard? And I don't honestly remember. I might have been really tired. If I'm honest, for the inducement money... Wizard is the single strongest inducement in the game for the cost. See, I um, I really like being able to grab this gentleman right here, the Death Roller, and the, a bribe. Is the Death Roller not a permanent fixture on your team? Nope, he's been free. I've just grabbed one every a mercenary Death Roller. <laughs> every every freaking uh. Why don't just buy a fucking Death Roller, dude? I don't have the money for it. Doing? I don't have the money for it, and it's also, it will give me a little bit of team bloat, and right now I'm kind of having fun being able to get all these extra free players. <laughs> I have never gotten to use any of the star players, so I'm like, this is kind of cool, I get to sub in the star players and uh, and try it. What the hell was going on with that kick? Everyone was passing it around like a fucking hot potato. Oh, it was a beautiful kick. So, uh... I, I like uh, this little, little front line with the guards and the, and the death roller, just sitting here going, yeah, we're fine. Oh, well, you nine. It must be so nice to set like players with skills up on the front line. Speaking from a Skaven perspective. <laughs> I actually have a really hard time coaching Dwarfs, because I don't coach Dwarfs very often. The reason I picked them in this league was I knew I was going into Division 1 uh, with, uh, with a fresh roll. Oh, rough. He just... Oh, yeah, my word. Right off the bat. Punching Paul just got jumped on, and that's your... Wow, dude. I had to oh, apple him. Apple. No, turn apple was good. Turn, apple was good. Turn one apple. It was... I was really... Quite, if quite I was good. him, I'd have been happy until you upload. <laughs> yeah. Because, uh, you, know, you know, a, a minus movement, a move busted uh, Ed Dwarf player in any position is dead. It's dead. Maybe a long beard could be justified if you had skills, just because you'd stick him on the line and not care. But yeah. Otherwise, yeah, pretty dead. Yeah. <sighs> my, my defense setup's kind of what I do when I coach humans, because I'm used to coaching humans or chaos or... I think you can afford to maybe go a few more man's base. Yeah, not I was... all man's base, but a couple more man's base just for extra strength. Because I mean, maybe not against lizards, because I know you know you've got a lot of Saurus with, with a lot of high strength. But you know, start if you've got more guard. I don't know how many guards you've got, but if you just put all your guards on the front and just go, hey, we're we're here. I think as of this game, it was two. Ah, okay. Remember, it's a fresh roll team, and playing all these really high TV value teams has been rough trying to get the SPP. Oh, this game apparently there was a lot of SPP. So, oh, because you got minus movement on a Saurus. That's 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 mean. Yeah, yeah, that was that was painful. I um, I tried really hard to um, make smart moves, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs>
I tried the small moves, but I didn't make them in the end. So. Uh, that's the only thing I can really say about this game is halfway through it, like the first half, I was like, all right, I'm gonna try to play, you know, smart, and try to get to a skink so Five, I can. Four, three, hurt them. eight, Dauntless. What has he got? Is he got multi block? He's got multi block. But he, but he doesn't have mighty blow. That's for certain. That's weird, right? I thought mighty blow would have been much better on him. Um, yeah, he's only strength four. I don't think multi block with strength four on a frenzy piece is no. anywhere near a smart idea. I haven't gotten it to prompt me to multi block yet. But then again, I was, I was pretty much using him as since I just lost punching Paul, he was my go-to blitzer because he had strength no, four. That makes sense. No, I totally agree. Especially you're the you're the troll slayer doesn't have mighty blow yet. Does no, he? no. So he's a stronger troll slayer. So he became my go-to blitzer, and so did my death roller. I uh, I tried to use my death roller. Um, yeah, you, I mean against lizards, you just kind of want to use the the, pe the the players that are gonna do the damage. So you know the mighty blows, you mm -hmm. kind of need to roll them for you because. Especially against skinks. Once you clear the skinks out, you're 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 on winning ways, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, see, he did. He he was really smart, and I mean, this is why Hoenie Cricket's a really great coach, and getting to play against him is is brilliant. Um, he used all of his like um, defensive skinks in good spots, like this one right here. He was just a level one skink. He's like, if I leave him here, it's no big deal, because I get the uh, assist, and he's got reserves, so he's kind of like whatever. But I like that you you allowed the death roll to get pushed. Death oh roll yeah. To get pushed, so you could set yourself up for a two dice or even potentially a three dice against the little skink if you get some assists back in there. Actually, I think what I try what I wanted to do with it and I didn't even notice that was um, break tackle away and break the cage because someone gave me the advice. They're like uh, one of the best cage breakers is death roller because she's got break tackle. So if you can get him into a spot, he can literally drive past them on one tackle zone because he's. Yeah, it's only one dodge, but it's still one dodge. Yeah, and he's strength seven, so with break tackle, it's just don't roll a one. And if you do roll a one well, you're alone, so fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, use the break tackle. Yeah, you're just throwing him into the cage, will you? Yeah, that's a pretty good use of it, dude, to be honest. Oh, and you did some work. Oh, nice. Is that the uh, piling on guy? Yeah, it's the piling on guy. Bye bye, dude. And then I oh, and the fireball to end the turn. To end the turn. I'm not a fan of fireballing at the end of the turn, dude. No, I wasn't either. But it skinks, so I was really. Did kinda... you badly hurt someone off that fireball as well? No, I got a KO. Oh, okay. So, badly hurt on uh, his piling on piece, which was good to get him off. I needed to remove him. I was gonna foul him actually instead of fireballing if. I personally would not have fireballed that simply because end of turn doesn't give you the reaction times. I prefer start of turn fireball so they can allow you to make moves. Yeah, like I said, I've made some bad moves and that was probably one of them. In my head, I think the only thing I can think of is if I knock him down now, hopefully the ball goes out of bounds and I can punch Oh no, I, I get that. I mean, I get where you're coming from with it. I, I certainly see the logic into, you know, it was a nice hit, mm -hmm. but you know, the, the other big mistake is you didn't type, hey, catch this. That's true. I didn't. I didn't say hey, catch this. Potentially, if you went hey, catch this, you'd have you'd have done some damage. Damn it! I always know I forget something. It's always something. <laughs> um. But yeah, see. He uh he gets set up to score and he puts it in. Luckily, I have three bribes. Three. I get a lot of money. His team's almost two thousand to my one thousand oh, team value team. I can't even imagine doing. I mean. It's weird that you you can kind of even survive because there's a point where inducements just aren't. Oh, they they really aren't at all. I mean, a lot of the coaches that I've played against, um, I don't know if they've really acknowledged it, but like, there's there's only so much a wizard can do. There's only so much bribes can do, um, especially like when you're playing a lizard band team that has more guard than you. I can't even outstrength them. No, absolutely. <clears throat> I mean, only one of the good things about dwarves on the whole. Is the whole um, thing that you you obviously do have a lot of skills on a on a base player, so you know having tackle and block across across your bog standard players is incredibly mm -hmm. useful for for teams full of skinks and and elves and stuff. There is one thing that actually I think it happened in this match. Um, I'm not sure if it was a bug or if there's a rule, so maybe you can clarify this. I fouled the someone, and we'll see who it is, and they didn't let me use the bribe, even though I had a bribe available. Really? Yeah, it just immediately sent him off. Didn't even bring up the screen. It just sent him off. Wow, that is a 
strange scenario. Yeah, I mean, it, it really messed up actually my, uh, it, it was... Can you only use like one bribe per half maybe? Or I'm not one sure. Bribe per, That's... Per, per drive maybe? I'm not sure if it's one bribe per drive or if it's one bribe per person maybe, if you can't use a bribe on the same person twice in a game. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it happens in this drive and uh, it totally messed me up because we were talking about it and he was like, why are you upset? And you'll see why, because like, it ended my turn and it left me in a very vulnerable position with players on the sideline and I was like, because I was planning on using a bribe if that happened. It was really crummy, but I either learned something or caught a glitch on, on camera. I wanted to get some SPP on my... Each uh, bribe can only be used once per game is the only... You can have three of them and... Yeah, it doesn't say there's any specifics. I've just checked the actual guide to Blood Bowl 2. Mm -hmm. And from there on... I mean, obviously, I, there's no way to get guaranteed that they're... Oh, God, you just one killed the dude. That's one. That's a, that, And that's a skinkus, dude. Oh, yeah, he left it. Well, he, he said... His, if you saw it, he said his player was up here because that's where the kick went, but it went out of bounds. Um... So I gave it to yeah, my player. I saw the he got. I, it was actually a situation where the the player worked against him. Yes. Yeah. And obviously hurting, taking hurting one of his uh, lizards, one of his sorai early, and then taking another one off on KO, really gave you uh, a, a bit more of a strength advantage. Now I have the strength advantage. Um... And I, I like the way you just cruise the death roll. I was like going, "Hello, buddy." Well, yeah, it was like I was. You're never I'd supposed like to... to get into a fighting match with the skink or the sources, but what I was thinking is if I could get these guys together, I can build a cage, and they should be able to fend off the uh, build a wall, the man. skinks. Yeah, build a wall. The problem is, is once again, high level teams. He's got break tackle. Yeah. I mean, yeah. As I say, the the one th that's why I say the wizard's still the most valuable because there's no other inducement in the game that can can guarantee. Well, can almost. You know, eighty, what, eighty-three percent of the time, Not guarantee that down. you can stop them from scoring on that on their oh, yeah. drive. Wizard's definitely the best, and from now on, I will always take the wizard if it's available. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping next season, if I do stay in Division One, that my team will be where it needs to be. I'm hoping to have a lot more guard. Um, well, I mean, the thing about dwarves is they they're good at surviving. Yeah, well, that's why I picked them. Here, you're getting punched all over the place, but your, your dwarves are like. It yeah, is, we're fine. It's a hundred percent why I picked them, and it's probably why I'm going to stick with them in the coming seasons. Because it's nice to, uh, to be able to just be like, yeah, I can I can take a beating, I can get up and go well, he again. He is very aggressive with these skinks. Oh, he is. He does not. He does not care. Um, and it, it, eventually, you see that it takes the turn on him. AV7 was stunty. Eventually, you know, something's going to give, even with dodge, um, because I pushed yeah, them right into. Do my other players that have tackled it negates the dodge. Not only that, but also you know most of them most of them don't have block thanks to the need for doubles for block. Indeed, yeah. And no one's that lucky, right? <laughs> some people get lucky, but then some people get punched in the face. Especially you know the slayers are very very good for with frenzy because you get yeah. oh Trix is injured that's another one. That one's over to your star player, unfortunately, so that's no SPP for you, but yeah. at this point, the and fact that, oh wow, he doesn't have block on Draco? On, on every single one of these games that I've played where it's the high team value, the good, the really, really good coaches that have been in Season 1 pretty much since the beginning, I wasn't really wor worried about development. The thing going through my mind was, can I kill their team, making it harder for them next season? Yeah, can I, when I come back into the, into the cup... Exactly. Um, or can I at least stall myself out so I don't keep, so I can stay in Division One? Um, yeah, I, I mean, in this instance, I mean, it always sounds kind of salty saying I want to injure a, injure a team out, but it isn't salty. It's really good tactics in a in a league format. I mean, you're doing what you need to do. You're marking really effectively. He's getting very very aggressive with his. Oh shit, he's got friends, sorry, friends in the sorry. Yeah. This guy is really developed, dude. Yeah, he's got a really developed team, um, and his. Right here, I made. I think I was talking to him, and I made a uh, a thing where I was like, "Dude, your Crocs has been on point." Like he's just like, "Nope, I will not," you know. Oh, uh, did he just dodge with a? Oh, was that a break, break tackle? tackle? He gets through it that time. Put me in a really bad spot. 
God, that was a good. That was a good play. It was a good play, and unfortunately, I didn't notice it until it already happened. Um, and I was really bummed because I was like, man, I wanted to get some SPP on the Blitzer. That was what I was really trying to develop because my Blitzers are very undeveloped. And this is where one Blitzer isn't not that. He gets a really oh, beautiful that, setup. That was a good scatter. Yeah, That's really, really beautiful scatter, and he and he immediately is gonna put it in. Oh no, he's gonna stall. I'm sorry. I think he tries to stall. I'd stall this because yeah. you're dwarves. Stalling is so easy against dwarves. Yeah, yeah. I'd probably put it in so fast in the first half, to be honest. But then I warned I him though, because this is where things change. This is where I was like, "That's cool. You stall all you want." Because he even told me he was gonna stall. I think, and I was like, "That's fine." And um, I changed you tactics. Can stall. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of your players because that's you know that's what you do yep. in this instance. Oh yeah, that's all I could do. I was like, I I tried to set up for a surf. Um, Wow, the ball's are too, too red. I, I was like, that. like, I have to do it. I was like, this it has to be done. Oh, the skull, no. Oh, we did it. We did it, Reddit. We did it, Reddit. Dead! Oh, God, that was good. That was really good. That was nice. And, uh... Two, two double red dice frenzy. In dead to injured, dead. but that's his apple gone, which is really good for you. Yeah, and missed, missed next, next game, game, so he's really gonna... Monster as well. Really gonna hurt, uh... I did a misplay here. I really shouldn't have left him right there. Yeah. Wasn't the best place, but I didn't want to rebase him with uh um... Shifty's killed. Nice. Yeah, I didn't want to base him with the Crocs again. Too fair, does the Crocs have break? No. Yeah, the Crocs can't get out of there, dude. Yeah, exactly. I wasn't thinking about it. I <laughs> like I said, I was get I was a tad tilt at this point. Um As I said, I don't think you should. I mean, I, yeah, the scatter was terrible, um, and the break tackle play was really good from him. Oh no, I, I gave up kudos on that. I didn't even think about spot. it. Not to win, but to just the amount of like damage you're doing here is really nice for you. Yeah, but see, this is what I mean. He had a break tackle here. That's why I was in a bad spot. Yeah, he got your dodge piece off. Yep, yep, yep. I mean, it's a bummer, but he was thick gold, so he's fine. Another good thing about dwarves, dude, resilience. Oh yeah, like I said, I love. They play. They play very much so to my strategy. I just wish they could move a little more. Um, but I just I noticed that he said skinks laying out there, so I was like, it's time to just keep hitting them. Nice pow as well, dude. Yep. Pow pow this is, pow. This is going. This is going pretty well in the hole. And this is the one oh. here. This is where it is because he gets called off. Um. Yeah, double six on the injury. Ouch. And they call him off, and they didn't give me a chance to use a reroll. It just immediately sent him off. That's rude. That's that's a bug, dude. Yeah. I think you should re report that to Cyanide because that shouldn't be. A ca that's not the case. Yeah, because what I wanted to do is I was gonna do that, and then I was gonna, since I could one die him. Trying to eject Grim. Yeah, well he does. Unfortunately, that's why. That's why. This is where I got kind of salty. That was only KO though. I know, but. I didn't even have the chance to do the rest of my turn because. Uh, Hang on, that was that was only a nine, so that's not important. That wouldn't have. Never mind. But yeah, I think he. Uh, I think he starts to notice that like my. My foul He's game was getting on point. People. Yeah, my foul <laughs> game was on point. Because. He's running out of Saurus. Oh god, He's, did he break tackle again? Yeah. Oh, is he just dodging? I think he's just dodging. No, he's break tackling. That was a 33, so he needed 5, so that's definitely just a dodge. Oh, is it the tackle, or, tackle, or just, yeah. the, just the dodge? He's actually just trying to get away, he's try trying to keep his players alive. This is, watching a Lisbon player try and scramble to keep their players up, that's an interesting scenario. I don't think I had anyone in range of the Blitz, I was really sad. I started moving them, I was like, ah, come back here, you lizards! I'm not done punching you! We got some more punching oh. to do! Look at all those little red crosses, dude. Yeah. Just wait, we're not done yet. We still have a whole half to go. I'm not done with you, boy! Come back here, boy! I'm not done with you. This? Huh? Is he taking the beating? Well, I mean, oh, I don't yeah. know no, Pony Cricket dude, personally. Pony Cricket, I... I love him as a coach. I wish I could be as well-tempered as him. He, um, he was like, I even apologized, because I was like, I was like, dude, I'm really sorry for this. I was like, but the only chance I have of winning or tying is literally tabling you. I was like, if I table you, I can just keep running in touchdowns. And he was like, I totally <laughs> well, understand. You say running, but it's more like shuffling. Yeah, right? I could shuffle in touchdowns. I could pull, I could roll on a ball and push the guy behind him. Could push him faster. <laughs> Get the death roll and give him a shove. 
Yeah. If only well, he had. Enough, if only he had hands. <laughs> yeah. Well, Grim came back, so that was nice. That's I got to refield him. Look at. I mean, look at that, dude. That's that's the first half of Lizardman team, and one of his knockouts is down as well. Yeah. Is, it you know? was uh, I think it was his uh, skink. I think the source comes back. Um, yeah, the Sorai came back. So you, yeah, but he's still only got three Saurus and a Crocs. Oh yeah, no, no, he's three skinks. he is it's... um he is in a really scared spot. I mean, as you can see, he's pulling everyone back on purpose. Uh, one thing I was surprised is that he left his Crocs up here. Uh, he that the Crocs I think is insurance against a, a one turn attempt, and dwarves can one turn. It's just very very difficult. I was about to say, I don't. I've I... seen it. I've seen it done, and it is the most beautiful thing. If you ever get the chance, hit yourself up on um, on YouTube and watch a dwarf one turn. They are so special. I will have to see that. That sounds amazing. Oh yeah, it, I it's, uh, as, as 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 far as I remember, and I've only seen it the once, but I watched it a couple of times because it was that good. But um, as far as I remember, it's very much about abusing your frenzy players. Oh, that makes perfect sense. But yeah, I, I that Red Cross keeps upsetting me because I think he's niggled and then I realize he's movement five and it's like, oh, why can't he be niggled? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say it would be beautiful if he was niggled because he'd be the perfect person to foul. Um... I like you setting up the the frenzy two dice. That's that's smart. Yeah, I've learned. I've been learning slowly and been getting much better at Blood Bowl. Uh... Been, since I've been frenzy is this. is a scary skill with this much strength around. If you Screw that up. Oh, nice. Did you stamp on this croc? Did you stamp the granny out of the croc? I stamped this one because I had more players around him. But first... Oh, no, I did that first, and then I was going to do the pass. <laughs> I was going to say, personally, I think I'd have went for the crocs. At this yeah, point. I just had... Something so right, I think the, the opportunity to take the crocs off the field is actually bigger for you. It, it definitely was, but I literally had... It was a 99 or 98% chance of armor break. And I was no, like, I, I mean, I, I get, I get where you, why you did it because it, it was the safer dice, but I think the Crocs would have given you just that little bit of extra. You know, if you'd have, if you'd have killed the guy, yeah, the, the little or, extra or strength, even injured him. You know, taking the Crocs off the field is huge for you. Oh, definitely, I definitely would have agreed. Uh, and this is why, I like, I, I should probably do this more often because it will help me become a better player reviewing my games with other coaches. Oh, totally. I, I definitely agree. I mean, it's something that I try and... It's why I put my YouTube videos up and stuff. I like that the guy just ran down into reserves. He's yeah, like, yeah, he's like, okay, I'm uh, ready. Hang on, are we going to get a... Did he no. really knock and get any knockdowns back? They stay out. Oh, my God. How did he... How How is he keeping on trucking with this kind of a scenario, dude? Because that's like... He's only got a front line in three skins. Like I said, Horny Cricket is a veteran. He understands, like... You have good days, you have bad days, and it just doesn't phase him. And he still, uh, the rest of this match, he still plays his heart out. He does not make it easy on me whatsoever. Like, I thought right now, I was like, oh, he's going to just pull his players back and be like, walk in touchdowns, I'll take the loss. Pitch invasion, that's not, oh, uh, it was only, it wasn't that wasn't bad. too bad. One each. Um, Although, you know, more strength to your front line. Yeah, yeah. And a free touchback as well, that was really good for him. Yeah, we were going for the... We were gonna get a we were gonna get a level up on our blitzers. We were like, no, these blitzers deserve the level up. See, I I like with blitzers. I like going for the mighty blow before the uh, guard. The guard, I think. He was my first level up, and I had no guard on my team. Oh well, that makes sense. Yeah. That, obviously, since uh, situationally, not the best. You know, obviously, you know, it depends on on the situation. You know, I can't say it in every in every scenario, but certainly, I would say. You know, if you want some SPP on, on certain players, want SPPs, and uh, one of them is going to be your uh, blitz. You know, your blitzers, and the best way to get SPPs is to rack up the um, the good old fashioned uh, mighty blows. Yeah, yeah. Early on, like any time I can get a, a ball to him. Nice blitz onto the. Uh, sorry, to, nice blitz on that skink there. That was oh, really yeah. good. Oh yeah. I trust me. I'm hunting them. It's it is it has become the mission. Is hunting them and one dice whenever I need be, and then foul every turn. I would not like to play against your team. <laughs> You're getting really good at eliminating players and, and looking for opportunities. You went for the Saurus again, dude. Yeah, he's, I stunned him. I I, uh, I, first, I don't know why I would, did not go for the Crocs. I was assuming that um, that he wouldn't get up. Like, he would roll a 1 eventually. 
He got he got a one earlier in the game. I saw that. Come on. No, oh, he's he's getting ones. He's getting ones on his knockouts, obviously. Oh, nice! Tackle down a skink. That's good. Keeping the skinks on their ass, keeping the crocs on his own. The crocs is pretty in a pretty bad scenario right now. Yeah, especially there's a lot of dwarves he's, around that crocs. He's built for guard as well. Um, so he's not in the best of, the best of spots by himself without having some support. And these things aren't going to take the ball off you. That's not going to happen. Oh no! But I'm still going to use the cage. Oh no, totally. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying the cage is a bad move. I'm just saying you you know you can move up that wing and not worry about that ball. That ball's going in the end zone in a couple of times because those two skinks aren't going to stop you. Yeah. You know they might distract you while you stand on their face, but they're certainly not going to stop you. No, oh, definitely. Yeah. I um will applaud his his Crocs for just. Just being like, no, you can't hurt me. Just for not dying. Just, just, you can't hurt me. Um. <laughs> Please tell me you're fine. No, you're putting the boot on the Saurus again, dude. You gotta focus that Crocs down. When he, when he goes down, he's a scarier positional than those, the Saurai, I think. Um, I can't. No, that was the Frenzy one I wanted to get rid of. Frenzy block. What other, what other skills do you have? Frenzy block and... is that dodge? That's not dodge, it's uh... uh break tackle. Have? Break tackle. Break tackle. Alright, yeah. cool. He was one I wanted to get rid of because of the last drive, I remember. Frenzy and break him. tackle, that's nice. It is. Um, he's definitely trying to slow down the uh... The kid that... <laughs> oh yeah, he was trying to surf him. That's what he was trying to do. Ballsy, man. I think he does it. Oh god. Yeah. That was good. That was like I said, play. he's a great coach, and he really he he will play to he's playing to the bitter end. He's not gonna he didn't want to. Yeah, because the one thing you forgot is whilst they do have you know you do have tackles, so you stop the dodges. They also have stunny. He's yep. put Guile in a very dangerous scenario though. Yeah. I hope you you read. Really oh, I did. This. I did. Um. Because you know you can you can surf Guile in return. If you oh bring... no no we just stomped him. <laughs> we hit him and then we fouled. Oh, he's got sidestep. No, you can't surf that shit. That's gonna be impossible. Yeah, I knew we, we couldn't we couldn't surf him. I thought I could surf him. I forgot he had sidestep, and I got really upset. And I was like, push, and he sidestepped there. And I was like, wait, damn it. So that kind you of you don't tackle me. either, which is really upsetting. Then you frenzied back into yeah to a position where he can push you off the pitch. That's, yeah, that's sad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot he had that. Um, and that kind of made me really, really bummed. But again, that's what we talk about with the frenzy drops and things. Yeah, know? yeah. Well, I should have looked at him and I should have noticed. He, if he had, if I would have noticed that, I would have uh, blitzed this skink instead. Um, so this turn, my foul goes to Guile because he's on my bounty board. So I was like, if I don't foul him and he's on my bounty board, I was yeah, like... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just being a bad example to other coaches, right? Yeah, exactly. If I bountied him, I need to foul him as well. Um, and I know he, he, there wasn't really much he could do to protect him. Oh, injured, and he hasn't got Apple either. No, I was really stoked until I saw the badly hurt, and I was like, now he's safe. But at the same time, he's safe, but his team is not. <laughs> no, no, he's in, he's in a very, I mean, honestly, though, he's still playing a really strong game for... And his, so, his, his crocs boneheads, oh, wow. Yeah. This is a really good play that he makes right here. He blocks him away, and he uses it to cover the ball. I totally no, didn't even think that's about a, that's that. That's a good, uh, a good blitz, dude. Didn't even think about it. He goes for the two reds and gets him. Well, the only way that works is if, you know, he's only a, uh, there's only a 3 in 36 chance, so it's a 1 in 12 chance of that going wrong. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, because he's got, he hasn't, he has got block on that piece. Has he got block on that piece? No. Oh, it was Guy that had block. Okay, so there's more odds than that, then. Never mind. I forgot, I thought it was the, the piece of block, but that was Guile who just got stomped, so... But his dodges are not working for him. No, 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 no. Not at all. Tackle, tackle has definitely earned its pay, and uh, so did all my other players. Yo, your team's working really effectively, it's fine. Oh yeah, at this point we've, this is... I was, I realized that I, I needed to score as quickly as possible at this point in time, because I was like, as soon as I do, I can... I do hope you stomped the skink on the way through, though. I don't remember. Because you've got so much bribes, 
You can still stand on a skink's face. Oh yeah, I still have one bribe left at this point. I just, I just stomp the skink out. I think I do. Or I just score, I can't remember. Yeah, you're just gonna score. Looking at the movement of the players. Yeah. You had three. You could have got a three-man gang foul into a touchdown. Yeah. See, that would have been. That would have been. That would have been good. Now, even here, I still thought I was like, it's still gonna be hard. I'm kicking to him. He's gonna just play keep away with the skinks. Um, and I'm not gonna be able to get a touchdown. So this is. Which is why I was, I was suggesting that to, to stomp the skink on the way out. Because if he's only got one skink, you can't really play keep away. No. Yeah. And I didn't even think about that. That's a really brilliant point to bring up. Um. I mean, it sounds like I'm putting the boot in, and I'm totally not, because you know what? While the dice have definitely been in your favor with the injuries, mm -hmm. uh, you've made some really good choices as well. Yeah, I mean, I having the advantage of having players on the bench up until about now, even if I lost someone, it was it was it was better t if I could take a Saurus with a foul out. It was way more worth losing one long beard. Well, losing a long beard with no skills to a Saurus compared to a, a three-skilled Saurus is yeah. always going to be a trade in your favor. Yeah, so at this point in time, I was like, every foul I can make is a is a brilliant foul. And uh, I could have done a better job setting up here, but I for some, I didn't think that he was going to play keep away, so I had two people in, in back because I thought maybe he would try to run and score one more time. To um, give him the guarantee? To give him the guarantee and maybe get back another Saurus. Because with another Saurus, he'd be a little more effective at, you know. As I say, at this point, you know, unless you play just at the turn from hell, you know, you, having a Dwarf, trying to score in two turns with the Dwarf team twice is very, very difficult. Yeah, especially with being being very, very low. Uh, I mean, if you had a runner, I think, I think, you know, you could have set up for it and put your runners on the front, uh, on the line of scrimmage. Yeah. In one of the wide zones, and and maybe just try to full movement speed and, and go for it down the pitch, and then, you know, get yourself in a position to score in two turns, and that would have been what I'd have done to try and get the, you know, the two, in your favour. Mm -hmm. But because he just hasn't got the players, he can't afford to put uh, his players to block your runners. No, you put a runner on each wing with a line with a long beard there. One of them's getting is going. Players, with. Stop that. Some one of those runners is getting down pitch. Yeah. Let's see, he's setting up right now to play keep away. And he got his first, that was the bonehead, the second bonehead. That was the third bonehead. Is I it? Believe. Yeah. And he keeps failing those dodges out of tackle zones, dude. Out of tackle. Which yeah. is very, very good for him. Well, the bonehead also really helped out because now I was like, I have, um, I have a strength four blitzer who is free to run up the field and uh, punch a Saurus. Wait, you got a split? Oh, you mean you're talking about Grim, yeah? Yeah, Grim's my, my, my blitzer. I leaned hard on him because of his strength. Well, dude, there's no point buying the guy if you're not going to use him. Yeah, exactly. You know, you're paying the guy's wages, at least, you know, put him to the test. Oh, dude, no, I I put him to the test, and uh, every time I have a star player like that, I normally leave them uh, on the LOS turn 16 if I'm not getting the hits. Might as well let him get the hits. Because if he dies, I mean... Doesn't really matter. He's not my player. Well, who cares? It's not your player. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. No, he's he's definitely a line of scrimmage fodder late in the game. Uh, I love how you're already setting up for the gang foul as well. That's great stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I clearly I had in my mind what I was doing. But again, man, I think the Crocs. The Crocs is up though, and I was gonna ignore yeah, him because he's, he's boneheaded. Oh yeah, he's boneheaded. I like that. That's really good. And I wanted to push downfield. So. I wanted strength to... four and, and frenzy is really Fren strength four frenzy block is really working against the Saurus fan. Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's been it's been brilliant, and I think this is my dodge piece. Now it's the non leveled up one. But you've still got a bribe, right? Oh yeah, I wanted to use the dodge one in K uh, up it's here. It's terrifying having three bribes at hand. Jesus Christ! I think I had two because I've only used one and I only have one left. I think uh, no, the, the fact the... that you can even have three bribes is insane. Oh yeah. It's it's freaking brilliant, um, and just being able to put the boot in all the time. But yes, he's, he's definitely, definitely trying to use his speed as well. Yeah, he's well, he did a really good job. I mean, it's hard to uh... <laughs> nice another break tackle with his frenzy piece and gets the block. That's that's really good for him. Yeah, yeah. Frenzy's a no dice when you when you when you get the block. 
and now I'm trying to set up to, uh, I realize here that, uh, we're running out of turns, so I was like, I have to do a dwarf handoff or a pass play. So, uh, good old, good old dwarven pass play, man. Hey man, agility three, you can do it. If humans can do it, so can dwarfs. I, I'm not, I'm not denying it, dude. I mean, that's exactly, that's exactly correct. It's, um, people just think, oh, the dwarves, they're not going to do any kind of, you know, fancy business, but it's like, you know what? A longbeard can carry the ball. If yeah. he has to. He's, he's agility two, but it's still better than a Saurus. And I've seen Saurus the chance. Yeah. I've done Saurus the chance. I, I played, I played Ogre Ball before. <laughs> so, uh, this is where I break off to be a little, try to be a little more serious on the play. Less granny stomping this time. Well, yeah, I was like, I actually, I can make the play. I was like, I need to really box him in. Be the hero, be the change you need to see in the game, man. That's exactly. what you're doing right now. Exactly, exactly. Um, I'm trying to, trying to set up the, the chain handoff. <laughs> <laughs> handoff into pass into, oh my god. Doing what a dwarf needs to do, but I realized I probably should have left him there, um, so he couldn't blitz out. Yeah, because he's he's in base. He's been base anyway, so he's not really achieved too much. But yeah, that's another failed dodge. These sixty-seven percent dodges are not working in his favor. No. I mean, tackles definitely been super helpful for it as well. Yeah, I mean, you are a skink. I mean, there we go. There's another one, and you're not getting that one. And you got stunted, and he's off the pitch because he's in it. seven. It's kill. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, he's safe. He's safe. And please tell me you ejected this. Oh yeah. Oh action. yeah. I don't think I did it first. I think I wanted to set up to get the blitz on him. Oh no, I did do it first. I had a three dice. <laughs> bye bye. I said. I said good night. Um. I said god damn. Get off the pitch. Yeah, I was super. I was shaking on my boots because he was playing. He played, played so composed, even though. Dead. Um, oh God! You killed the guy. Yeah. Oh, and he hasn't got an apple for that. That's no break tackle frenzy anymore, no. Arnie. Wow, he's gonna be sad at that. I was um super quaking on my boots because he was playing so composed with such little players, and I was like, I can't let him score again. Did <laughs> he lose many more? Um... Did he? I, mean, I didn't really see the other injuries. There wasn't anything really permanent other than that. No, game, no, there was. There was a couple. Um, what's the word? Um, next next game. Next next game. So his next match is going to be definitely rough. Uh, but then again, you know what? You've been playing down for so long. He can get a taste of his a taste of the medicine, dude. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't want to say it like that because he was so well composed and he was such a good. No, sport I'm not about saying. It. I'm not saying. I'm not blaming. It sounds like I'm blaming him for it, but I'm not. I'm not blaming him for you being down. I'm more saying that. You're so used to playing down that it's interesting to wow, that was a brave dodge. Yep, 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 yep. I wanted to make sure he did not get a get a skink on it because I knew exactly what he was going to try to do. The same. I thing think I'd have probably time. tried to pick the ball up though with the blitzer. I was a little. You see what I did? I was kind of worried. I had the re rolls and I probably should have tried it because then I could have probably just moved him away. But uh, it all works out in the end. Ah, power, that's good. God, his skinks have just taken such a beating. Oh, wow, we're going to blitz the crocs. Hey, he's got strength four. And dauntless. And dauntless. Sit down, crocs are gone. Are we going for a pass play? It's a dwarf pass play. Oh, boy. What an what a end to a game, man. Good old Drunken Dan is on point. Drunken Dan's like, all right. We got this, boys. We got this. No, as I said, I wasn't like trying to say he deserves it. I'm just saying, you know, you've been playing down for so long that it, it'd be interesting to, to, to see him. That's that's exactly. That's exactly what he said. He said at the end of this, he's like, you know what? I've been on top so long in the season for the last two seasons, three counting this one. He's like, it's you know, it'll be interesting to not have such a high TV. So yeah, yeah, you've got less. He's got less to lean on right now. Well, I think he's still going to do right. You know what I mean? He's a great coach. I still think he's going to wind up on top, but that injury box, man, is... At least rough. he didn't suffer, like, stat bust to be on the dead. I mean, he really didn't. He really got... Considering the injury box is so stacked, the fact that he's only got missed next games and badly hurt other than the dead guy is pretty lucky. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Um... 
I it would might not feel agree. lucky to him at the moment, but you know the fact that he's still got most of the team left when he finishes the match. Well, the thing is, is he's not even down and out. He he uh, he even he told me he was like, I'm gonna set up for a one turner. <laughs> And I was like, okie dokie. I, I didn't think it was possible. I didn't think he had enough players to do a one-turner. Um, because he doesn't have anyone left that has, like, movement nine or sprint or anything. Yeah, he would need a hell of a um, a player here to pull a one-turner off. Yeah, well... Um, I don't think he's got enough pieces, to be honest. I didn't either. With stand firm, maybe he does. I didn't think he had enough pieces either. Oh, the... Oh the my quick word, snap. the quick snap. Well, maybe he didn't till the quick snap, dude. Yeah. It's a freaking nail biter of a game. And I didn't think it was gonna be. Even up to the very last play, I was like, Here's oh my the goodness. Thing, though, who's gonna handle the ball? Sidestep as well is huge for him. Yep. But he pushed you down. Oh, he's doing it that way? That's nice. Yeah, he's, a, like I said, brilliant coach. When he was started, I didn't know what he was doing at first, because I was like, who's going to handle the ball? And then I started watching what he was doing, and I was like, oh. But no re-rolls with a pass. With a stunty, stunty pass? pass. No, it's not happening. Yeah. Spirited, but not in, not nearly enough. Yeah. So, crazy, crazy match. Um, oh god, did he? Oh, that was only the miss next game. Yeah, no, that no, no. Me. He didn't. He didn't get a. Yeah. Not the dead guy. Wow, dude, you just did work on that. You worked him over. I um, I would definitely say the dice were definitely in my favor heavily on those injury rolls, but I will also say I don't think he was dice because statistically, how many freaking fouls I did and how many blocks. I mean, if we. Look oh yeah, at it, totally. I mean, you didn't have as much mighty blows. Maybe I think you would have liked needed. to have to make it work, but. Yeah. Well, I was also for the first bunch of fouls. While I had uh, the death roller, he was fouling, so we had dirty player. So it's plus one to an injury. Oh, roll. good point on the on the death roll. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I was fouling with him. Well, I also I I started fouling with him when I was like, they're gonna try to score again and get him sent off. So I was like, I might as well get use of the uh, the dirty player. So. I mean, I definitely the dice were definitely super heavy on my favor when it came to the injury rules. Um, so maybe maybe he was diced. I don't know. That's up to you guys to decide. I really don't care. It was nice to get a break after my last couple matches of getting just pounded. <laughs> that's all yeah, I have to say. I, I, I suppose it kind of felt like a, a comeback, dude. Yeah, yeah, it did. I I mean, I've um, I've only think I've gotten to win one real one. Uh, <clears throat> so it's nice. Uh, my next match is, I guess, I think against Tilly. I think I go Lizard, Lizard, Lizards, and then Dwarfs. And then my last, I think my final match is against Staircase. Your final match? Yep. Wow. Final match. The two the two, uh, two of the fresh rolls uh, that aren't doing so good. Unlike Mr. Spoonie, Spoonie Bard, who's a fresh roll who's been rocking it this season, which has been ridiculous. But... You heard it here, folks. I'm really glad that uh, Mr. Full Metal was able to join us for this one because it was a hoot. It was a hoot of a match. Um, thank you so much for being on my show tonight, and uh, farewell, YouTubes. Well, dude, you've written you've written out with me a long, a long enough time that I think it's only fair I, I return the favor. But yeah, that was that was a hell of a game, dude. I really wish Gengar could have been here. He would have given me a handshake and like a hug. He, I know Gengar likes the gore, so it's certainly. You know, it would have been very cool to frame it with seeing that. Oh, yeah, I do too. That's why I play Dwarves. I mean, <laughs> the only <laughs> other team that would really, really want me to move, it would be Chaos. But I don't think I could deal with K a fresh roll Chaos in, in Division No, because I mean, the thing that, as you said, the thing you Dwarves have got is the natural skills to actually survive in a competitive environment. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I could have done nearly as well in this division if I would have rolled something else. Unless I rolled, like, High Elves. Or not High Elves, Wood Elves, and just gone for strictly touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. It sounds though yeah. you'd have just been murdered, dude. Oh, yeah. It I, been... can't, I can't say anything else. You'd have just been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, guys. Yeah, I've linked you a quick guide to uh, the one to, one, one turn touchdown. And, oh, and nice. I will definitely check that out. Farewell, Internet. Goodbye, internets. Good, good, good night. Goodbye, and enjoy the gore. 
Good luck, may your dice always roll sixes unless you're playing against me where you where I deserve an opponent who rolls some ones occasionally. I was gonna say, I think I think uh, lately you definitely have deserved uh, you deserve to dice someone. You need a match like this. This is what you need. What just happened is something you need. That is what I need. I need that from for my two storm vermin to just go off and, <laughs> and just and just pull the trigger on people. But at this point I've got a claw mighty blow storm vermin that, that, that literally uses his claws a back scratcher. Yeah. Back scratcher Back scratcher. Alright, goodbye guys.